coverage you can count on. More survivors of alleged abuse showed up today at the Old Mariana Boys School and so did FDLE agents. You'll hear from some of those men about what they say they endured and a local historian who says it's unlikely that murdered boys are buried in the graves at the side. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Lewis. And I'm Lisa Wilkins. You're watching News Channel 7 at 6. The Department of Law Enforcement is investigating 32 unmarked graves located near the site of the old Dozier School for Boys in Mariana. Some of the former students have alleged that the school officials murdered black students and buried them in the graveyard. As News Channel 7's Josh Gant tells us, the group calls itself the White House Boys after the small white building where they say they were brutally beaten. Somebody needs to be accountable for the tragedy that happened in that White House. 64-year-old Patrick Holland attended the Mariana School for Boys when he was 15. He's just one of several former students now speaking out about their mistreatment alleged at the hands of the school staff. And the more you scream, the more they beat you. Those beatings took place here at this White House in the 1950s and 60s. Behind these four walls, students say they were beaten within an inch of their lives, sometimes for very little reason, and some were never seen again. They just worked that whip up from the back to the butt to my thighs, you know, and uh, taunted me, you know, you sissy, the worst sissy we ever seen. As heart-wrenching as the survivors' stories are, their allegations about these graves are absolutely chilling. They claim the 30-plus graves contain the bodies of black students killed by the school staff. Back in the 1950s and 60s, the campus was segregated. The graveyard is close to where the black students were housed. Governor Charlie Crist has ordered the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to find out if the allegations are true and who's buried in the graves. Who, whoever's there, God bless their soul. The White House boys just want closure, and they're hoping this investigation will give that to them so they won't have to keep reliving the past. I'll hope that today that I'm on my way to healing of what happened to me when I was 15. And no matter where you're at, at whatever state you're in, if you're abusing a child that brutally, it can come back and haunt you 50 years from now. In Mariana, Josh Gant, News Channel 7.